Now, residents are in the desperate race to evacuate. Get back, get back, get back. The rate of the river was, was eroding the land uh, about 10 to 15 feet in 10 to 15 minutes. The family makes it out with seconds to spare. Sadly, all their possessions are still inside. porch goes. Then the floor. There goes the floor. Then the rest of the house. There it goes, there it goes. Next door, Robert Duffin can't know that this is only the beginning. I was farther away from the river. And I, I thought surely that my home was going to be safe. Unfortunately, he's wrong. Corner sagging. Starting to crack. There it goes. There it goes, guys. Holy. I had put so much effort into building this uh, new home, and all except the kitchen was, was gone. The entire house fell in in one gigantic moment. A couple tons worth of building materials just swept away by the river in a matter of seconds. Just downstream, Charlotte Pace believes her house can escape the flood's wrath. At that moment, we thought that the river had done all the damage to our area that it would do. But the worst is yet to come. So sad. It was a surreal feeling, a feeling that this couldn't really be happening. This must be some kind of awful nightmare. By the time the rain stop and the waters recede, 27 homes are swallowed or condemned. The river was like a monster. Look at the wave. The folks in Creekside will rebuild. But with a new respect, and fear of nature's awesome power. Coming up, a race car rockets off the road, straight into a photographer. Then, a house is sucked into the sky by a killer twister. Oh my God! But first, a daredevil tries a fiery stunt, but no one can douse the flames. When the world...